Hello and welcome to pre-algebra practice set number 23. And in this video, we're going to look at some additional practice problems for our lesson on the order of operations with integers. Okay, so for the problems we're going to look at, we just want to evaluate each. And we're going to start out with this. We have inside of parentheses 48 times 2 minus a negative 12. Then we're dividing by 9. Then we're subtracting away. Inside of parentheses, we have 8 plus, And then inside of absolute value bars, negative 17 minus 6. So if we look at this problem, we have parentheses here and we have parentheses here. It doesn't really matter which one you start inside of first. As long as you completely take care of this one and you completely take care of this one before you start doing any of the operations that are outside of the parentheses, you are fine. So let's start with the parentheses here. Now, if I look, it looks like I have parentheses again right here, but again, this is just used to separate the minus a negative so that we don't have two operator symbols next to each other. So what I'm looking at is multiplication and subtraction. So I want to multiply before I subtract. So what is 48 times 2? 48 times 2. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So that would be 96. All right, so I'm going to replace that. We'll have inside of parentheses 96 minus a negative 12. I can go ahead and write that as plus 12, right? Minus a negative is plus a positive. And then we'll have divided by, we have this 9 minus, and then inside of parentheses we have 8 plus, and then inside of absolute value bars, negative 17 minus 6. Okay. So continuing inside of here, I just have addition. 96 plus 12, 96 plus 12, 6 plus 2 is 8, 9 plus 1 is 10. So that's 108. So I'll replace this with 108. And then I have divided by 9 and then minus. And I can go ahead and just start working inside of the parentheses here because that would be my next step. So if I look inside the parentheses here, I have addition and then I have some absolute value bars. Now, I always want to look for grouping symbols when I get inside of grouping symbols, right? Because I'm reapplying the order of operations. So this right here would serve as grouping symbols. We need to figure out what negative 17 minus 6 would be. Negative 17 minus 6 is the same thing as if I said, what is negative 17 plus negative 6? The answer would be negative, right? We have a common sign. And then you just do 17 plus 6, and that's 23. So this would be negative 23. So let's write this as 8 plus the absolute value of negative 23. So now continuing inside of our parentheses here, we need to figure out what the absolute value of negative 23 is first before we can add to 8, right? So the absolute value of negative 23 is 23. So we would have 108 divided by 9 minus, and then inside of parentheses we have 8 plus, the absolute value of negative 23 is 23. So now continuing inside of the parentheses, 8 plus 23 is 31, so we'd have 108 divided by 9 minus, again 31. So now the problem is very, very simple. We have division and we have subtraction. So I want to divide before I subtract. So what is 108 divided by 9? So I don't know that off the top of my head. So we could quickly do a long division and figure that out. So 9 goes into 10 once. 1 times 9 is 9. Subtract here, you get 1 and bring down the 8. 9 goes into 18 twice. 2 times 9 is 18. Subtract and get 0. So the answer for that is 12. So again, 108 divided by 9 is 12, and then we're subtracting away 31. So 12 minus 31. We can change this to 12 plus a negative 31 and use our rules for adding integers. So the first thing you would do is find the sign. The sign is going to be negative because negative 31 has a larger absolute value. Then I would subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger. So I would do 31 minus 12 borrow here. 11 minus 2 is 9. 2 minus 1 is 1. So the answer would be negative 19. Okay, let's take a look at another one. 
And realistically, this should be up here. It's just, it doesn't fit on the screen. So I, it had to continue on the next line. And I apologize for that. But we have three plus, and then inside of brackets, we have this quantity 29 minus six, then times 13. Then we're dividing by, and then inside of these parentheses, we have negative 17 minus, inside of another set of parentheses, negative two times two, and then we subtract away 26. So I'm gonna start inside of grouping symbols, and I have brackets here, I have parentheses here. So I'm gonna start inside of these brackets, and once I get inside, I'm looking at the innermost set of grouping symbols, and that contains 29 minus six. So 29 minus six is 23. So I'm gonna put three plus, and then inside of brackets, I'm gonna have 23 times 13, then this is going to be divided by, inside of parentheses, we have negative 17 minus, and then we have inside of parentheses, negative 2 times 2, and then we're subtracting away 26. So staying inside the brackets, I have 23 times 13. So I don't know what that is off the top of my head, so let's do a vertical multiplication. 23 times 13, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 2 is 6, then 1 times 23 is 23. So put the three here and the two here. Bring down the nine. Six plus three is nine, bring down the two. So 299, so we're gonna have three plus 299. Then we're dividing by, and then inside the parentheses here, I have a negative 17 minus. Now, once I get inside these parentheses, remember I would go to this set of parentheses right here, and I would evaluate what is negative two times two. Well, negative two times two is negative four. Negative times positive is negative, and two times two is four. So this would be minus a negative four, and then we have minus 26. So continuing inside of these parentheses here, I have negative 17 minus a negative four. That's the same thing as negative 17 plus a positive four. So if we think about what is negative 17 plus four? Well, the sign is negative. And then I would just do 17 minus four. 17 minus four is 13, so that's negative 13. So we'll have three plus 299 divided by, again, this is negative 13, and then minus 26. So we're done with all the grouping symbols. Now all we need to do is look at our operations involved. We have addition, division, and subtraction. And remember, although we have parentheses here, the only reason those parentheses are there is so I don't have division and then a subtraction symbol right next to each other because it looks clustered, right? So that's why we have parentheses there. All right, so now I wanna divide before I do anything else. So what is 299 divided by negative 13? Well, I know it's negative, but what's 299 divided by 13? 13 goes into 29 twice. Two times 13 is 26. Subtract and we get three. Bring down the nine. 13 goes into 39 exactly three times. Three times 13 is 39. Subtract and get zero. Okay, so we're gonna get negative 23. So we'd have three plus a negative 23 and then minus a 26. So all I have now is addition and subtraction. So we work those left to right. So three plus negative 23 is going to be negative 20, right? Keep the sign that has the larger absolute value. In this case, that's negative 23. So the answer is negative. And then subtract the smaller absolute value, which is three from the larger absolute value, which would be 23. 23 minus three is 20. So you get negative 20. Now we're subtracting away 26. Now I can just think about this as negative 20 plus negative 26. The sign would be negative, right? Use the common sign. And then just add the absolute values. 20 plus 26 is 46. So our answer here is negative 46. Okay, for the final problem, we have this quantity, negative 12 minus eight, then we're dividing by, we have the absolute value of negative two times negative five plus negative six. Then we're dividing by the absolute value of three times negative nine, minus a negative 22. So we have grouping symbols here. The absolute value bars are gonna serve as grouping symbols here. 
and here. So what this basically tells us is, hey, figure out what this is, figure out what this is, and figure out what this is separately. Figure those results out first before you do any of the division, right? You just have to separate that. It's grouping those operations together. So I'm going to start out and just work with negative 12 minus 8 first. But it really doesn't matter. If I started with inside these absolute value bars, and then I went to this, and then I went back to that, as long as I do everything separately before I do this division, I'm okay. So negative 12 minus 8 is the same thing as negative 12 plus negative 8. That's negative 20. Okay, so now inside these absolute value bars, I have a negative 2 times a negative 5 plus a negative 6. So multiplication and addition. Now I want to multiply before I add. So negative 2 times negative 5 is going to give me positive 10. So the absolute value of 10, and then we're adding negative 6. That's basically the same thing as subtracting away 6. So I'm going to write this as 4. Because 10 plus negative 6 or 10 minus 6 is 4. So we'd have the absolute value of 4 here. Then divided by, let me write the rest of this, we have the absolute value of 3 times negative 9. Then minus a negative 22, I could just think of as plus 22. Now inside these absolute value bars, I have multiplication and I have addition. So I would multiply first. What is 3 times negative 9? Positive times negative is negative. 3 times 9 is 27. So this is going to give me a negative 27. So I'd have negative 20 divided by the absolute value of 4 divided by the result of this, the absolute value of, this would be negative 27 plus 22. Now if I perform this operation, negative 27 plus 22, it's going to be negative 5. So we'll rewrite this as negative 20 divided by the absolute value of 4 divided by, and then this will be the absolute value of negative 5. So now I'm going to perform these absolute value operations. So I'm going to have negative 20 divided by the absolute value of 4 is 4, and then divided by the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. So now I just have division, and I'm going to work left to right. So negative 20 divided by 4 is negative 5. That's negative 5. And then we're dividing by 5. Negative 5 divided by 5 is negative 1. 